What's up, guys? This is Kefis. Welcome back to WoW Classic, everybody. Uh, we are in Duskwood again, and it, honestly, I, I'm going to be completely honest here. Um, it's been a minute since I've played Classic, uh, since recording last, um, and just having so much other stuff going on with Shadowlands and Pre-Patch and all that kind of stuff, and other games, you know, all that kind of stuff, but, uh, yeah, we're in, we're in Duskwood again, um, don't know how I ended up back here, I know we were in Wetlands, and I must have just hearthed back here, but, uh, I had no Soul Stones, and so now <laughs> we're gonna get our Voidwalker back. I'm not gonna, don't worry, I'm not gonna spend like five episodes killing these wolves again. We're gonna move on. Uh, but, you know, I do have a quest to turn in to Sven. So I <laughs> figured I might as well do that. Uh, so we're gonna head over that way. So we will be here for a little bit. And then we're gonna make our way down to, I think, Stranglethorn, whoa, Thorn, Stranglethorn Vale is where we're gonna go next. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I know Stranglethorn Vale is, uh, well, at least in my memory, it is a very notorious zone for sure. Um... I remember having a lot of fun uh, slash trouble there, um, so uh, we will see how things go with that. Uh, but I'm excited to be back in Classic. I'm certainly, you know, still here playing this, you know, loving it and all that good stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it, it has been a minute, I, I, so I'm I had to get my my bearings right because it's like you know when you go from playing retail, especially like now with, with the way leveling has changed. Uh, when you go from playing that to playing this, it's like, whoa, it's a completely different experience, especially now. Um, especially when it hasn't been, it's been a minute, so, uh, but I remember, I remember how this works, throw up my dots, uh, throw my wand out there, uh, you know, get what I can, try to get a couple more soul stones, there we go, we got two now, that's good, we're in a good spot now, so... Might as well get some skins here, but I'm looking forward to going to Stranglethorn because if nothing else, we can grind. It's a very dense zone, so we can grind like crazy there. Um, we certainly have a lot of rested XP. <laughs> it's not something we're going to have to worry about. We got plenty here. Um, uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, Stranglethorn Veil is the plan, and also I've thought about this. I'm really curious to see um, if, if Blizzard decides to do a uh, Burning Crusade uh, classic server. Um, that's kind of like... So I'm because th I'm thinking about the future of what I want to do, you know, with 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 you know classic you know content. And so my plan right now is we're gonna level up this guy regardless. We'll finish this. It's gonna take a long time. And so when it's done, I want to level up a hunter again. So I've already leveled a hunter once, an orc hunter. Uh, but I want to level up a dwarf hunter because the first character I ever made in the game is a was a dwarf hunter. And I remember naming him, I forget what I even named him, I think it was like Highlander or something like that, a long time ago. First character I ever made. Uh, and I'll be honest, when I think about this game, in my opinion, peak content in WoW, peak experience, to me, is playing a hunter in Classic. Um, I think it's one of the best experiences, and I've already done it, you know, like, it was what I did when I came to Classic last year, when I started up again, I, I leveled up a hunter. And I didn't actually finish leveling him up, but I leveled him pretty consistently. I was really into it. And it was as fun as I remember. It was every bit as fun as I remember it was. And I, I think, like, when I think back to Classic uh, and, and the old game, that's what I think about. I think about the Hunter. I think about, you know, taming your pet, maintaining and taking care of it, uh, making sure you have arrows, a lot of that stuff. And I, and I enjoyed it then, and I still enjoy it now. So I think that um, the next classic character that we level up well whether it's on here or maybe even in burning crusade it will be a hunter um and in experiencing all that all that you know funness again so that's what my plan is we're gonna level up the warlock of course and then we'll move into that but uh, and the warlock's been pretty fun too i don't think that uh i think the warlock is easy um in my opinion it's not it's not as fun as leveling up a hunter though um, but again, that's just my personal opinion. Everybody teach their own, but it is really crazy how much, um, gameplay there is in the hunter alone. Just like even outside of combat, you know, and that's something that, uh, you know, I was playing, I, I mentioned this, you know, starting the new retail series already, but I, I was, I, you know, they, they've, the whole leveling experience has changed. There's a whole new starting zone. That's kind of like a tutorial. Um, and ooh, 
I forgot you have to see right there is another example. I forgot you have to mine it more than once. <laughs> um, you know, but like, so you've got like this whole new starting zone. Um, and there's a quest, I guess, if you level up a hunter, which we're leveling up a paladin now, which is fun. But if you level up a hunter and you start in that new zone, you won't get a pet right away. Um, normally, like as a hunter, you'll get a pet right away, but uh, in, in retail, that is. Uh, but in this new zone, you'll level up for just a little bit, and then you'll get this this quest to go tame a pet. It's pretty standard. It's it's kind of a nice like nod to to classic, um, but it really made me like realize how much I really liked the 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 hunter experience in classic, the class quest at level ten to uh, go through and tame different pets and, and and learn how to do that and and take care of them and stuff like that. And I think that's something that I really enjoy and, and through the process like it's something that you got to pay attention to your pet you got to pay attention to how much ammo you have that kind of stuff um, but I, I, I think it's good I think it's a it's good um, fun it, it certainly adds a lot to the game in my opinion it's actually kind of funny because like I don't think there there ooh, there are a lot of classes in classic that come close to like that level of gameplay um, which I think is kind of kind of weird it's, it just seems strange to me like you know, like, I mean, because it's a paladin, it's pretty standard, pretty straightforward. Warrior, pretty straightforward stuff. But as a hunter, you've got all this stuff to manage. Uh, all this, all these things to consider. And it just seems like that class has the most depth, in my opinion. Especially in terms of leveling um, and all that you do. So, you know, some people might find that to not be depth so much as, uh, you know, inconvenience. And uh, then to each their own, I say. Um, but yeah, so it, I don't know. It's just something that I, I really want to do again. It's funny though, because like I've already leveled up a hunter once. Uh, but you know, and I this is like being honest. I will say, um, in retail, wow, I can pretty much level any class. It's not a big deal. There are classes I prefer, but none of them are too painful. <laughs> uh, but in classic, there are some classes that I frankly just don't enjoy leveling up at all, um, and it's tough to try to do it. That's why I eventually settled on. You know what? We're just going to do a leveling guide series for classic because, man, it, the time like I don't know it, the 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 mental taxation it takes <laughs> to to try to do that to level up every class is is a lot harder than I gave it credit for, and possibly in a future expansion, maybe in Wrath, when things get a little bit more homogenized and things get a little bit better, uh, not be before they get too homogenized. That is, um, it might be fun to try it again. But, you know, it's fine. I mean, like like I said, the, it's it's weird. It's just, you know, it's just my personal opinion about, you know, how I view classic and stuff like that. Just you know, what I like. I, I really do love leveling up the hunter, though, man. Like, it's crazy, like, just thinking about, like, you know, how much how much fun that is to me. Um, <laughs> I think leveling up a hunter in classic is probably the most fun I've had leveling um, in any WoW experience ever. I don't think anything else comes close. Uh, maybe second only to, like... The time I leveled up with a couple friends, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, back in the day, like uh, when leveling was very difficult, and you had like a, like having a group of two or three to do it with, that was pretty sweet. Um, and even like the the few times I've um, done that here in classic, there was a there was a point on my paladin where I grouped up with uh, like two or three other people, and we leveled up in uh, just random people leveled up in uh, Red Ridge together. That was cool. Um, there have even been small moments where I've grouped up with people temporarily to do quests here, uh, in, in, as, as this, uh, Warlock. There was a point in Elwyn Forest. Um, so, like, it, it's nice to do that kind of stuff as well, but as a pure leveling experience, I, I don't know, man. Something about the Hunter class just really does it for me. So, um, we're totally killing wolves right now that don't even give us XP. I apologize, but I wanted to come over here and at least try to turn this quest in for Sven. Um, I think my Hearthstone said it, uh... Uh, yeah, Deepwater Tavern. Oh no, that's that's actually in. Why did I end up back in Wetland or here? That Deepwater Tavern, I'm pretty sure, is in Wetlands. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we don't want to go back there. I was gonna go uh, level up in Arathi, but I don't know how good Arathi is. I mean, it might have been fine, but um, I wanted to try something else. We'll see how Stranglethorn goes. We're getting into that point now in leveling where it's gonna slow down a bit, which, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It already is pretty slow, I know, uh, but it's going to get a little bit tougher, and going to Stranglethorn is going to really make it tougher. Um, so I'm not sure how well it's going to go. I might, might have to grind. Like I say, I always go for the easiest, not necessarily the fastest, because it's it can get very, very tough. Um, well, that gave us a little bit of experience. So use 
Uh, Bane on um, foul kill morbid fell in return. Nope, we're not going to do that quest. Okay, so, well, I got like a little bit of experience, I suppose. Um, yeah, so we need to go down here. It's going to get kind of scary because we got to go to Stranglethorn, uh, which means that we have to run along the road where Stitches is again, and that, you know, can get very stressful. So, uh, yeah, there are two times I get stressed out in WoW. Uh, WoW Classic going on Stitches Road, and then WoW Retail going to Vashir because <laughs> I have a little bit of a fear of underwater. <laughs> so, uh, those are the two times I get really stressed out, but uh, it's okay. Um, well, we'll make it. Even if we die, it's fine. Uh, you know what? I forgot to give myself that, so cool. Um, just trying to get through here without fighting anything. Sorry, I kind of just um, decided to do this on the fly, uh, but I thought it would be kind of entertaining, possibly to see me panic as we go along Stitches Road. Um, but I did kind of forget. I, thought, I don't know why I thought these guys would be like at least giving me a little bit of experience, but I completely forgot that they're much much lower so yeah we're going to go into stranglethorn too so stranglethorn is a like level 30 to like level 45 zone so uh i tend to prefer to be part way through a zone's leveling before i go there so i'm at least not at the bottom end because you'll fight things that are much higher level than you or at least even like in wow classic things that are the same level or even a little bit higher can be tough to deal with so We'll see how it goes. If we have to, we'll come back here, grind a little bit. We'll go somewhere else. There's lots of options. So I even thought about uh, maybe someone can tell me in the comments below. But uh, what play? Because I never level an alliance character in Kalimdor. But what zones are available? Like, because I always think of like all the Kalimdor zones as horde zones. But like I know that Tanaris, I think even like Desolist and maybe even Thousand Needles have some alliance quests in them. Dustwallow Marsh. Um, even like it's funny because like, even in retail. Um, I always forget that the Southern Barrens is actually partially Alliance leveling as well. So, like, there's stuff like that that I'm like, oh, yeah, I for completely forgot about that. So, um, but I do like me some Thousand Needles. It's one of my favorite zones in the game. Classic Thousand Needles, that is. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe going there to the Shimmering Flats for a while might be worth, uh, worth it. But, you know, of course, getting there is going to be the tough part because we'd have to go. I don't have a mount yet. So we don't get them out until level 40, and I don't even know if I want to have the money for it. So we're, that would be a long run. I'd probably have to do it off camera just to save you guys the insanity. Um, I mean, this is already long enough, but uh, so far so good. Don't see any stitches yet. The fact that that person was running on their mount seems to suggest that I'm pretty much safe. Though I don't know where he spawns. So um, it's very stressful. Just like <laughs> I don't know if he's going to show up behind me, if he's going to appear in front of me. I don't know how the spawn works on him but I just keep looking back looking over my shoulder because <laughs> we're, we're in the thick of it now but man this road honestly is pretty incredible um, it looks good I mean like it just like the the atmosphere um, and the like the thing about it like the thing that really works for it is you know the fear of stitches and just you know the fact that this game is challenging even in leveling it really adds to that atmosphere because you already have a sense of fear um, at any moment things can go wrong so uh that really adds to the whole experience because like in, in retail there's nothing to be afraid of i mean <laughs> like and coming here in retail is like eh, hey it's duskwood you know whatever um but in classic man it's it's, it's scary it's uh, very unsettling so um i think that's kind of neat to be honest um but either way we've made it we're going to go right into red ridge or not red ridge but uh stone no stranglethorn that's it and spend some time leveling up here hey there's a copper vein over there this might be a mistake. Is it down a cliff? Ah, I can get that. I think. I think it's safe. I should be able to get back up. There's another one down there too. Yeah, I might as well get this. Okay, anyways. Mining. Not leveling, but hey, it's worth it. Get more money. We need all the money we can get. We're not... I have to keep uh, upgrading my gear. I feel like I need to. To keep up with all this stuff. So, uh, I don't exactly have a lot of gold. Like, I'm not really at the point where I want to be able to get a mount at level 40 at the rate I'm going, so, uh, but it's all right. We'll figure it out. No big deal. Having a mount would be nice, but uh, I actually don't know, because, like, you know, again, like, you know, I, I don't play this consistently. I mean, I do. I play this as about as consistently as I play retail. Well, I did until Shadowlands started, but uh, with Shadowlands, that kind of changes things a lot, but, you know, um, you know, I, I've, I've been a little bit out of it just because of, there's so many games to play. Um, so I, I don't know how the gold market's going these days. I heard there's a lot of bots and a lot of, a lot of issues with that kind of stuff. So 
that's unfortunate but so far like a lot of times like i'll go and i'll put like copper up and i'll get a lot of money out of it so uh it just depends on i guess the day i don't know uh, but we've got a lot of copper so that's good every pretty much everything i get i sell i'm not looking to craft anything so um you know, I don't really raid. I don't, I'm not gonna. I never really had the plan to raid in classic. I don't really raid in retail either. I just kind of play, whatever. You know, we'll fight you. Get this wolf. Might as well get some experience. I mean, it's whatever. He's a really low level though. So sometimes that green, from my eyes, I'm not colorblind or anything, but sometimes like I have a hard time differentiating the green from gray. But just I think it's more because of how my color settings are. On my TV, so <laughs> um, it's just kind of funny. I'm like, wait, am I gonna get ex you know experience from that? But uh, did get some some leather, so yeah, we are a quarter into the next level as well. So we're finally, finally getting our, ourselves out of Duskwood. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll get the Red Ridge and or not. I keep calling it Red Ridge. D uh, <laughs> Silver, no, Stranglethorn Vale. That's the one. You know what's funny about it is that when it like Stranglethorn Vale was one of the most like zones that I was the most excited to go to because like I had people telling me like oh dude wait till you go to Stranglethorn Vale it's sweet there are like animals all over the place and it's like a cool jungle and I was like oh that sounds awesome and I little did I know little did I know man <laughs> you know but it's fine there's a lot to do here so yeah there's it looks like there's a quest there uh, level 33 see See, these are high, man. I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if this is the right decision or not. We'll see. Um, <laughs> but here we are, Rebel Camp. Let's go ahead and get what quest we can. Um, yeah, we got... Uh, there's like one or two up here, I think. Yeah, this guy's got... Or this 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 girl, I should say, has a couple. What can I do for you? Okay, so there's a couple quests. Where are they at? Oh, whoa. Weird. Okay, that's something else. Okay, so we don't want to go over there. I think we want to make our way to Nessingwary Camp. Welcome to the jungle. I think that's where we want to go. Um, but wow. So in retail, this is two different maps. This is one map here, and it's weird. It's a big map. That's kind of weird. It's like going to uh, Hillsbrad and realizing that Hillsbrad and the Rothy Highland, or no, what is it? Rothy Mountains are two different zones. <laughs> they combined them in... in uh, in, in Cataclysm, and then what's funny is this zone, they split up. There's Northern and Southern Stranglethorn, so um, really funny, but uh, looks like I have a, there's a, this says there's, uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. We can fight this. Hang in there, Voidwalker. I forgot I gotta keep track of his health. Um, which is fine. You can do that. Actually, where's his health bar at? <laughs> I might have to look into my UI. I think I might have messed up my UI a little bit because I don't see my wood, my Voidwalker's health at all. Uh, I'll fix that later. It's fine. Everything's fine. We'll be <laughs> we'll be okay. I'll, I'll, at least it'll let me know when his health gets low. I guess. Yeah, it says there's a quest here, but uh, I don't see anything. Jungle secrets. I remember that quest. I remember doing that quest several times. I remember the name, uh, but I don't see it here. So we want to go down along the we stay along the main road. I remember leveling up here as a horde character. As a matter of fact, I remember it because I just did it on my hunter uh, <laughs> over the past year. So uh, that, I remember doing that because I remember all the raptors. And uh, there's a lot of them down by the um, the horde camp down there. Which we want to avoid that place as much as possible as well. But uh, okay, let's get across the river. There's crocodiles down there. There's, it's it's like the, this all suddenly feels like I'm playing Ark Survival Evolved. <laughs> that's what this is like. Suddenly just like very scared to go anywhere. Um, that's all right, though. Okay, let's go over here. So the Rebel Camp is right down there, but of course there could be anything in between. Yep, see what I'm saying? Like, like just on cue. See, and these guys are level 31. So level 30 and 31, I do believe. So we might, um, depending on how many people are here, might farm some of these for a while. Uh, of course, there are some quests to do. Um, getting the Green Hills pages is just, you know, it kind of works out. I can get some leather. Uh, so, it, and so far, it doesn't look like it's going to be too, too terrible. Um, so, we might just, you know, hang out here for a while. Grind up some of these tigers. Get some free leather. Well, not really free leather, but some leather that we can then sell. Um, and see how it goes. Hopefully, I don't get overrun by, by tigers, though. Okay, so I see that one down there. There we go. All right. 
Heck yeah. Cool. Um, get, look, I, I got Siphon Life now, which is awesome. Now, the only thing I'm noticing, of course, is that I am pulling Threat off pretty quickly, but I think it's just because of the level of these things and the level of myself. Um, so I need to maybe try to chill out on the dots on the, on these guys. See if that helps out a little bit, but, uh, I actually, like, kind of appreciate how easy the, um, the, the, the Warlock is to play. Uh, literally, you just throw up dots and then cast your wand. That's pretty much all you have to do. It's really funny, like, just how straightforward it is, but, uh, it works. It's, it's no big deal. All right, so we're at the, we're at the Nessingwary camp. Let's see what we got here. Welcome. Speak with Hermit Nessingwary. Or Hemet. Hemet Nessingwary. All right. What can I do for you? Uh, wants you to kill ten Stranglethorn Raptors. Okay, I think those guys are, yeah, they're over that way. And that one's leveled, wow, 34. Dude. Well met. Um... Stranglethorn Tigers, those ones are right here where we're at. And over there as well. I think this is going to be Panthers. Yep. And those are also over there. So we can we can kind of go across the bridge, kind of back and forth and do that. Uh, the Green Hills of Stranglethorn. Yeah, so this leads to four different, like a bunch of different quests. Which I'll go ahead and take them. This can be really good experience um, if you can find them all. Uh, if you have the money, you can also, like, buy it on the auction house. I mean, that's what's nice about it. You can sell those pages. Um, so, depending on how much money I have, I might, and depending on how much they go for, I might do that. I remember not being able to afford them a lot of times. So, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, okay, so here's a tiger. Young Stranglethorn Tiger. we got to kill ten of these guys. And, of course, again, I'm pulling through it. But, you know, they're not really hurting me too bad, so I'm not too worried about it. Just trying to kill them as quickly as possible. Having Siphon Life, man. Uh, it's very nice. It really helps a lot. Alright, there we go. Cool, okay. So, skinning, skinning them. Yeah, medium hide. I just don't think hide sells for very much, but that's okay. Gotta make sure I'm attacking the right thing. Yeah. So, these tigers... Pretty straightforward stuff. No big deal. Yes, yeah, so this will be fun. I mean, it's, you know, Classic is practically almost entirely about <laughs> about grinding. So I don't mind plopping down and grinding for a while. Uh, at least try to get, like, partially through level, like, the 30s uh, to try to get to the next place. But look at that. We're already 30% in. So we're doing pretty good. Um, killing these things should, should help us pretty quickly. But, you know, hey, it's a... It's a slow process. That's that's what classic is, is a slow process. So, um, But this is something that I feel like I can control. And, you know, I remember, again, coming here as a hunter was very exciting because I was a skinner, which is nice because you get tons of money from this. And I'm a hunter, so I could tame pets. And that was also really cool because there's tons around here. There's the monkeys. There's the tigers. There's the panthers. Raptors. I mean, it's pretty crazy. I think, I think if your alliance... No, uh, you, you uh, never mind. I was going to say, I think if you're Alliance, the first time you see Raptors is here. Um, it can be if you play a human, but if you're a dwarf or a gnome, you can actually see them in Loch Madan, So, uh, But Raptors are pretty cool. I remember like freaking out when I realized that Raptors were in the game. I was like, what? This game is crazy. Okay, so let me slow down there. Yeah, slowing down a little bit kind of prolonged the, uh, the amount of time before the tiger started attacking me, so... That's not so bad. Bam. There we go. Another one down. Of course, I'm going to skin, so it does slow me down a little bit, but getting that money, man, that's part of the experience is getting the money up. So, I mean, regardless of how much time it takes you, you're going to need to take the time to, to, to build up your funds anyway, so you might as well kill two birds with one stone or two tigers with one uh, dot or four dots in the, this case. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. And if you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook, and if you'd like, you can support my work on Patreon. Links to all that stuff can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.